How's it going everybody? My name is Warner Fields with Fields of Profit. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller and full-time student and in today's video we're going to be diving into how you can find profitable wholesale suppliers for your Amazon business. Um, this is a method that I use myself to go ahead and find my suppliers. I have four to five suppliers right now that I consistently restock with and it's an awesome opportunity to just kind of send them an email say hey I need to spend 5,000, I need to spend 10,000 on this PO. Um, it's a lot more scalable than those online arbitrage orders um, so it's something I'm really getting into recently um, just kind of scaling up those suppliers I've already got. Um, but if you could go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below, uh, that'll help out my business. I'm going to help out yours in this video. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. So the method that I use for finding my wholesale suppliers is called reverse sourcing. Um, so basically the gist of it is we're going to find a wholesale product with a decent amount of Amazon storefronts on there. And then we're going to search through those storefronts to see what we can find. Um, the hardest part of this process is just finding your first wholesale product to go ahead and source other storefronts from, which I will go ahead and give you. Um, in this case, it's this product right here. It's called the Packed Club Shot Timer. Um, this product, I have an, I have a wholesale account with this company, um, but they weren't really that profitable. Um, they are wholesaling for $90 and they're only selling for $130. The profit's like $15 on there. If you want just the experience of opening up a wholesale account, this company would probably open an account with you, but it's not that profitable. But the real value comes from looking through the storefronts on this listing. Um, the ones you're going to want to look at are storefronts with uh, less reviews um, because those those wholesalers if you end up competing with those they're gonna be easier to get buy box rotation from as well as those brands that they're carrying are probably more likely to be willing to open up accounts with those smaller Amazon sellers so you're gonna go ahead and click on any of these stores that have probably I would say less than a thousand reviews less than 500 reviews because you're looking for those small stores um, so we opened up a couple here so let's check out uh, this guy right here he has, um, he's got 90 lifetime ratings, and so his storefront's probably not that big. Um, so all of these brands here are probably either an online arbitrage product or a wholesale brand that he's working with. One of the best ways to go ahead and look through the products on these seller storefronts, um, and in this case, it looks like there's only three brands, so you can just go ahead and check out these three brands, see if you're interested in them. Looks like this Aero Precision might be something kind of interesting to go ahead and check out. Um, we're also looking for brands that are not or products that are not sold by Amazon already and also have at least two or three sellers because that typically means that it's probably not a private label product. If it has one seller or one seller and Amazon warehouse, it's probably a private label product. So in this case, you could go ahead and reach out to this company My Way and this company Aero Precision, see if they've got anything interesting. Um, you would want to record kind of their, you want to go to their website. So in this case, let's go ahead and look at Aero Precision see if we can find their website so here they are right here um, to go ahead and f set up an account with them you would just say become a dealer over here um, and then shoot them an email whatever they want um, you'll need probably a resale certificate and your business license is what most wholesale companies will want from you um, but from there you're off to the races you can negotiate your prices all that good stuff um, maybe make some profit off this product Real quick, I just wanted to interrupt the video to let you know that there is actually a link down below for free wholesale email scripts to go ahead and send those companies when you're applying to get an account. Let's get back into the video. Um, on these storefronts with a little more products, let's see if this guy has, so this guy has a thousand products versus 20 that the last guy had. Um, so this one has significantly more brands, um, lots of cosmetics. He's got this thing here. Um, so it can be kind of hard to know where to start. Uh, so first of all, if you don't want to use Jungle Scout, um, I, I would use the Jungle Scout Chrome extension for this step, but you can also just scroll through using DS Amazon Quick View here. So we can see that this is not sold by Amazon. It has more than two sellers or so, but it's only about $7, so I would probably skip this one. This one's sold by Amazon, sold by Amazon. This is a little, a little better. So this is probably... Um, a pretty popular product here. It looks like the bundles of all kinds are selling pretty well. They're all pretty, they're all ranking pretty highly. So you can go ahead and check out this Elden card here, see if that might be interesting. Uh, we're also going to look at, we can check out Oilology because this looks like a pretty good price here. So we could open this brand up. We could see um, kind of if they have a lot of sellers on here. Let's see how many, I think it said it had three sellers. So it looks like um, it actually has five, but the price is consistent um, looks like it's actually pretty cheap so I'm not super in love with this product um, but you could go ahead and check out and see if this company has other products you'd be maybe more interested in some more expensive products like this one this one so this could be an interesting brand to work with 
Um, but the way you can use Jungle Scout to get through these even faster is you're going to click the Jungle Scout extension up here and then it's going to pull up all the products that this seller has um, and you can even press, can you press, uh, it doesn't look like you can press load more here, um, that's more for Amazon pages actually, uh, but you can go ahead and filter the results here and then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Um, so instead of scrolling through, we would just press uh, at least two sellers and I want to see that it's sold FBA or FBM and not by Amazon. Um, and so now it would filter out those products so that we only have a couple um, products that meet our category. So now you can see none of this is sold by Amazon um, and they all have at least two FBA sellers. So this is just a whole list of brands that might be willing to work with you. Um, some of these are pr bigger brands that might be an online arbitrage product or something, but this Woods of Windsor, I've never heard of them. Um, BioSilk might be a little bit bigger, but um, any of these brands you could potentially reach out to. You never know until you Google their website and get a, get a response from them. So in this case, you just go to BioSilk's website, see what we're working with here, um, and then you can press contact and just shoot them an email through this contact form. Looks like they're based in Houston. Before I show you this other method to go ahead and find wholesale suppliers, I just wanted to real quick go ahead and plug the Discord that myself and Flips for Miles just created. It's a free Discord, completely free. Um, the link is down below. There's about 500 people in it already. We launched it like uh, less than a week ago. It's been an awesome community. Um, lots of qu good questions getting answered. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at this last method, which uses Jungle Scout um, and some other Chrome extensions. Those other Chrome extensions are free. It's DS Amazon Quick View. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is look for a product um, that could be um, maybe not super mainstream, so maybe not like hairspray or like a big product with a lot of name brands, but you want to look for a product with um, some smaller mid-sized companies. Um, so the, the product that I had thought of was a tire repair kit maybe. Um, let's see if we can find some maybe uh, like an American company that would want to work with us. Um, so we could use Jungle Scout here to go ahead and filter out those private label brands as well as the Amazon sold products. So we go to menu over here, filter results. Um, you're going to go ahead and click uh, at least two sellers and then, at, and then FBA and FBM buy box. So we're going to go ahead and apply that. And now this list should be a bunch of brands that might be willing to open an account with us. Um, so it's going to take a second to load here. So we've got we've got uh, Techpo, we've got ARB, uh, we've got Airman. So we can go ahead and check out these three products, see um, kind of take a deeper dive into how to find a wholesale supplier based on this. Um, so we're looking for Amazon's not on it. Check Amazon's not on this listing. We're also looking to make sure that the brand itself is not selling, and it looks like the brand itself is selling on the listing. So we're going to stay away from this one. Um, we're going to go ahead and go through that process again. Um, Amazon is not selling. It looks like they have not sold for a while, um, but this is a little worrisome, but we could go ahead and keep running down the list here. Um, it looks like the brand probably isn't selling if they're allowing 24, 22 people on this listing, which is quite a few. Something to think about if you were to get on this listing, but it looks like there's only two Amazon FBA sellers on this. Um, so it could be the brand and you, it's hard to tell really. Um, so we could go for look at ARB Tire, um, just kind of see if we can find their website. So we've got ARB USA here, it looks like. And then from here, you could find like a contact us page at the bottom of the page. Um, anything that you're, uh, let's see, we've got dealers um, down at the bottom, it says become a dealer. So this is probably where you would contact them to go ahead and uh, maybe set up a wholesale account with this company. But that's the simple process for using Jungle Scout to find wholesale suppliers. Um, you can also use this button down here to load more results um, and it'll load the next page of Amazon. Um, you can just keep going like that, finding more and more suppliers. So I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did get some value, feel free to drop a like. That helps me out a ton. I hope you're able to go out and get your first or 20th profitable wholesale supplier because of the information in this video. If you want to go ahead and check out our free Discord down below, uh, it's completely free, great community, um, lots of good questions being asked in there. Um, go ahead and check out my TikTok and Instagram. Uh, I'm posting a little bit more relaxed content on there. Um, but that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys.